I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Friday morning, the 21st of June, 2024, and this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 19 and 20. Then he said to them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. The importance of being called. Following Jesus is not a good idea. It has to be a calling. Now, these men were working when the Lord called them. They were not sitting in a corner waiting for the call. They carried on with their daily work. You know, a sailing ship tied up in the harbor is not going anywhere. But a sailing ship in the open sea, even if it's going the wrong way, with an experienced sailor, can be turned around and tacked against the wind and using those sails will take the passengers to their desired destinations. When Jen and I wanted to serve Jesus Christ, we thought that we would have to stop farming, go to Bible college and study theology. But we decided to fast and pray. I went up to the mountains on my own. Jill stayed at home with the children. You can imagine she was quite nervous, not knowing what the outcome was going to be with five small children. And I came back from the mountains and she was standing at the gate with the children when I drove in with the pickup and she had a big smile on her face. (laughs) I think she was quite relieved because you see the Lord had spoken to her and called her the same time he called me. We went into the bedroom. We sat down together. I opened my Bible. She opened her Bible. Now, we have separate quiet times. We pray together every day, but we have separate quiet times with the Lord. And, you know, the Bible's got 66 books in it. We both opened the Bible to 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. It says, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. First of all, our legs went to jelly. We were still brand new Christians. We couldn't believe that the Lord gave us the identical scripture. And the Lord showed us, stay on the farm and make a place for my Holy Spirit to work, which as we know has taken place. We've had some of the biggest men's conferences, I think, in the history of the world. 450,000 in 2010 and still going strong even today. So a good idea is not always a God idea. Carry on working hard, seeking the face of the Lord, and he will tell you the time that you need to leave your nets and become fishers of men. We are full-time fishers of men at present and still making a place for our Lord Holy Spirit to work in people's lives. Jesus bless you and goodbye.